Hello everybody! In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install Reshade into PAL World. Reshade enhances game graphics, making them more vibrant and sharper. You can customize the game graphics according to your preferences, and it's allowed in multiplayer mode for an improved gaming experience. I'll also be testing Reshade with Luke's mod in this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive in. First, go to the link in the description or search for Reshade in your browser. Download the latest version from here. For example, in this video, I'll install the Decent Plus Graphic Enhancement mod into PAL World. The link for this mod is in the description. Please note that this mod is designed for high-end PCs, so ensure your computer meets the requirements before installation. If your PC isn't high-end, opt for the performance-friendly version of this mod instead of the Ultra Graphic mod. Now open Reshade, you'll see your PC installed applications here. If you don't find the application you want, click Browse and search for it. In this case, it's PAL World. I'm using a cracked version of the game, so your game location may differ. Choose the second option. Instructions can be found on your downloaded README file or the mod website. After clicking Next, you'll see these options. If you're creating your own reshade preset, be sure to check the desired boxes here. In my case, I'll use a pre-made preset for the game. Now extract or open your downloaded mod. Copy the Decent Plus preset file into the PAL, Binaries, and Win64 folder. Then, open the README file and copy this path. Before that, run the game once to generate save files. This path leads to that folder. Press the Windows button and R together, then paste the path here. Now replace the extracted engine file with the existing file. Ensure to check the read-only option in the engine file so the game can't overwrite the changes. Now go to the Reshade menu again and browse for the preset file we copied before into the PAL world directory. Press open and it will load the custom preset to the Reshade menu. You don't have to do anything else, but if you want to, you can. I'm not going to make any further changes, so press next and it will download the necessary files. Make sure you have an active internet connection. This will take some time depending on your internet speed. After downloading the files, press finish. Now you can open the game. When you open it, you'll see the Reshade installed successfully message. Go to the game. If you press the home button on your keyboard, you'll access the Reshade settings menu. From here, you can fine tune the custom mod to your liking. Press the home button again if you want to remove the menu. To see the changes, you can reload the Reshade mod over and over again. Now, if you've changed your mind and need to remove Reshade, go to the PAL world directory and delete these files. Follow the previous steps and delete the engine file too. When you reopen the game, it will regenerate a new engine file.
Now let's see how to install Luke's mod for Pal World when using Reshade. Pal World now uses the FSR220 file. That is the only change step. Everything else remains the same. If you want the spreadsheet link, check the description. After copying the files, if you're playing with Luke's mod for the first time, make sure to follow this step. Otherwise, the game will run without DLSS. This is a nighttime scene, so FPS will drop when you face daytime. Ghosting and flickering issues may persist, so you can play with those issues with high FPS or sacrifice some FPS for the fix. That's it! As always, like and subscribe to my hard work. Thank you.